In this episode of an in-depth look, a review of the soon-to-be-released OpenSUSE 11.1 Linux distribution. I've been a long time OpenSUSE user. I think, actually, even before it was called OpenSUSE, probably when it was just called SUSE or SUSE, uh, I think the first version I installed was version 5.1, came in those big boxes. They didn't have public betas. So I, even doing this preview video, video wouldn't have even been possible. So back then, it was like, this big deal, right? You ordered the box, you got this huge manual, you got the book of CDs. It was really exciting. I still have them all in a closet somewhere. And and ever since then, I've never actually managed to pick up the correct pronunciation. So I'm just going to refer to it as OpenSUSE throughout this review. And I hope I don't drive anybody um, particularly nuts. So version 11.1 is on target for a mid-December release, which I believe is currently planned for uh, December 18th. So this preview look does uh, is based on some features that are still under development, but we're getting pretty close. We're at release candidate stage now, so it's a pretty safe bet. What we're going to see now is what's probably going to ship, unless there's some glaring bug. Um, one of the really great aspects I've always felt of OpenSUSE, and I believe this release nails it to a T, is that they've given both GNOME and KDE desktops a lot of attention. In my opinion, sometimes some distributions make one particular KDE or GNOME desktop maybe feel like a bit of a second-class desktop, but I've always felt, at least for the most part, that OpenSUSE really nails the polish and the finish that both desktops deserve. The, uh, along that lines, the theme and the look is uh, extremely sharp. It has a very high-end feel to it. It, uh, it even starts at the bootloader when you boot off the CD. The, uh, all the way through the boot splash sequence, it has a very classy and elegant look that uh, it stretches all the way throughout. The installer is basically the same as you've seen it before, uh, with moderate tweaks here and there. It also keeps the elegant look and theme, the, gre the dark greens and the blacks. Um, the overall look of the installer is very elegant. And uh, it fits really well with the overall look of the distribution, giving it a very consistent feel. Version 11.1 will be shipping with the latest GNOME, uh, which includes the uh, Nautilus tab file management, and of course the new uh, GNOME's multi-monitor tool, which should work in conjunction with the new version of Xorg to help people better set up their multiple monitors, um, which is going to be definitely a very nice feature for myself, since I have had some troubles with that in the past with different versions of Linux. Uh, OpenSUSE does feature their uh, slab menu in the GNOME side of things. They kind of pioneered that new kind of all-in-one GNOME menu uh, with their Enterprise Desktop version, which came out years ago. The SLED release, their, SLU their SUSE Linux Enterprise Desktop, um, which is almost three years old now, I think was where they, where they first featured that slab menu. It's gone through a lot of iterations and improvements, and we have the latest generation of that now in GNOME. And these menus are always something, uh, you know, KDE has their kicker menu that they're constantly tweaking, and it's interesting to see what they've developed with it. Uh, any release of OpenSUSE that's put out always includes the latest and greatest uh, Novell-sponsored project improvements. So things like FSpot and Banshee uh, will feature the latest improvements to those two different projects. Uh, Banshee includes a new refreshed look. It's very, very, uh, very simple to navigate. It's uh, it's got also built-in support now to sync with the Google, with the Google Android G1 phone that's out. Uh, you can sync your music using Banshee now, which is very cool. Um, <clears throat> that phone hooks up over USB, and then the Banshee pro the Banshee's project music player will just basically see it as uh, any portable music device and sync the music over. FSpot, the uh, very useful photo organizer is uh, rocking some new editing tools and a new magnifying tool and also some improved stability with large photo databases, which is, uh, which is great as you add more to it. Now, there was sometimes some people ran into some issues, almost like they hit kind of a ceiling. I believe that's been resolved now with the latest version of FSpot that's included with OpenSUSE 11.1. KDE 4 is also no slouch in this release of uh, OpenSUSE. It features the latest release of 4.1 and, uh, of course, has the new, improved, and much-loved version of Amarok which a lot of people are really excited about. And then for those of you who are not quite ready to make the leap yet, they have a fully polished 3.5 also available during install if you'd rather just run a little uh, more classic version of uh, KDE. Some other OpenSUSE specific features include improvements to YAST, which I said is their sort of their central management program. It lets you control things like your firewall settings, user accounts, hardware settings, and stuff like that. They've made some improvements specifically on the GNOME side, so it fits a little better with the GNOME desktop and includes more information. Uh, they also include OpenOffice.org uh, open 3.0, 
which includes the file support for Office 2007 formats that Microsoft introduced, the dot docx and xlsx and things like that. Uh, OpenOffice.org 3.0 can read those, which makes a lot, which makes a life a lot easier for those of us that live in a mixed world or have clients or or maybe other employees, other staff members that have uh, the newer version of Microsoft Office, and there's been some troubles opening it, and now that's been addressed with OpenOffice 3.0. They also include the latest version of Network Manager. I think a lot of all the distributions are now on this .07 release, which includes support for improved uh, corporate VPNs and some 3G wireless devices, so things like air cards and uh, 3G modems, which should work... Uh, well, if, as long as the hardware drivers there, almost out of the box with Network Manager, it's actually pretty elegant. The other thing they've included, uh, which works in conjunction with YAST, is the ability to use fingerprints to log in now. They've been able to tie that in using PAM, which is a back-end pluggable authentication system, with KDE and GNOME's login manager, so you can scan your finger and you can log in. That's pretty high-tech. I like that quite a bit. I don't know. I don't have any fingerprint readers, but that just seems really geeky. If it works well, it seems like something I want. So overall, I'm really excited about OpenSUSE 11.1. Like I said, we should see it December 18th. And be sure to check your mirrors when it releases because it's not going to be a distribution you're going to want to miss. If you're an OpenSUSE user, this is definitely one to upgrade for.